Everyone knows that real estate in New York City is pretty much insane. The tiniest studio apartment costs what a sprawling, updated home would cost in another part of the world in order to afford to be in one of the biggest, liveliest cities in the world. In Manhattan, it can be nearly impossible to find the perfect apartment on an average size budget. However, if you have some serious cash to spend, and if you can afford to snag a penthouse, the real estate options become truly jaw-dropping. Floor-to-ceiling windows on the highest levels offering panoramic views of one of the most beautiful urban landscapes in the world. Luxurious kitchens that chefs in the best restaurants in the world would envy. Space galore, we're talking thousands of square feet, bigger than the average house. If you have a limitless budget, you can snag some pretty insane penthouses in the Big Apple. However, take note, we're really talking limitless. It might seem crazy to spend 1 or 2 million on an apartment in any other part of the world, but in Manhattan? You're lucky if you're not spending 9 digits. And just quickly, subscribe for good luck so one day you can live in a penthouse this expensive. The 96th floor penthouse of Manhattan, New York's most expensive address, hit the market for a staggering $169 million, reportedly making it Manhattan's most expensive listing. The 8,000-square-foot unit is on the highest floor of 432 Park Avenue overlooking Central Park and is being sold by Saudi retail and real estate magnate Fawaz El Hoqair, who purchased the property in 2016 for $87.7 million. Despite the nearly 1,400-foot tower's reputation for issues such as creaking, floods, and supposed design flaws, listing broker Ryan Serhan told the New York Post that several offers were made for the penthouse before it was listed on the market. However, according to Serhan, none of the offers were high enough for the seller. We wanted to maximize the value by putting it up for sale, the broker told the outlet. The massive 8,255-square-foot property comes with six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and two powder rooms. The penthouse is also equipped with a library that could double as a seventh bedroom. The home is being sold with all of its art and furniture, which includes pieces from Hermes, Fendi and Bentley and a piano that was custom-made for the penthouse. It also boasts herringbone white oak floors and high-end finishes. The 93-feet-long great room offers 360-degree views of Manhattan and comes with a wood-burning fireplace and a formal dining area, according to 6sqft.com. The kitchens have marble floors and countertops, seamless white lacquer and oak cabinetry and top-of-the-line Miele appliances. These include a double oven, a double sink, a wine cooler and double dishwashers. The penthouse's new owners can also enjoy vast views of New York City while having breakfast. If the penthouse is sold for Al Hoquer's asking price of $169 million, nearly double what he paid for it five years ago, the unit would be among the most expensive properties ever sold in the country, the Wall Street Journal reported. It would also be the second most expensive New York City real estate sale in the city's history. The record is held by Ken Griffin, a hedge fund manager, who, in January 2019, purchased a condo at 220 Central Park South in Midtown Manhattan for a whopping $238 million. As for why Al Hoquer's penthouse is so expensive, Sir Hunt attributed the hefty asking price to the building. Anyone can have a big apartment or have a full floor somewhere. But there is only one penthouse at 432 Park Avenue, the broker told New York Post. 432 Park Avenue is one of the best creations in the world. The tower previously made headlines when then-couple Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez sold their 4,003-square-foot 432 Park Avenue unit for $15.75 million in 2019, the outlet reported at the time, citing records filed with the city. If you haven't yet subscribed, like and comment and we'll see you in this video next.